All right, thank you very much, Yuri, for the welcome to uh, Prague. It's certainly a, a great place to have this, um, this uh, meeting. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to now uh, give my, over, my review of the International CML Foundation. I know a big thing about this meeting is this very nice collaboration that we have between the International CML Foundation and the European School of Hematology. Um, and that's a, that's a very unique uh, setting that, that we have here. And uh, for me, standing here uh, with uh, John Goldman here, uh, watching over my shoulder, uh, who was uh, the, the first uh, chair of the board of uh, the International CML Foundation and, and team, who, who uh, was the, 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 the second president the, who preceded me and who really took the International CML Foundation to what it is today. So a little bit uh, humbling to, to be now standing here in front of you uh, to give you my first report as the chair of the International CML Foundation. Um, the only thing that, that allows me to do this is because this is a, 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 an effort of uh, many of you, all of you, and, uh, and a group that we want to continue uh, expanding. So um, w one important thing is that although there's been uh, the, the perception in many circles, and I continue hearing it, and even from people who uh, may uh, be uh, perceived as experts or, or interested in CML, uh, is that CML is done. CML is not done, and all you need to do is uh, talk to patients, uh, talk to many of the investigators uh, uh, to realize that there's still a lot of work that has to be done in CML throughout the world. And that is why we exist. That's why the International CML Foundation uh, still has an important role. Uh, and it's the only foundation that's exclusively dedicated to the well-being of patients uh, and to the dissemination of knowledge for CML. Uh, so this is very, a, a very important role that, that we fulfill. Therefore, our mission is to improve the outcomes for people with CML globally. That's, that's what we're here uh, for. And, and we, we work towards that every day. And what we do is advance the management of uh, the CML uh, through the uh, expert education and also the treatments through our research global collaborations. That was a, a new uh, evolution of the CML Foundation when we started engaging into the research activities to complement our educational activities. So how do we do uh, all of this? Well, we have a lot of uh, experts. Uh, many of you participate in all of these activities that we do uh, throughout the year. And, and they're really all very, very good. If you haven't had an opportunity to, to uh, see uh, some of these uh, events to, 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 uh, or, or to participate, uh, please take a look. They are really good. We have these CML co uh, conversations that uh, are very well attended. Uh, we have this outstanding report that team puts together on the publications, the CML publications um, every, uh, every month. Uh, we have case discussions, a great forum for any of you who want to discuss a difficult patient or who receive a difficult patient from a colleague. Uh, please you put them in, the, in these forums. It's a great opportunity to get the feedback from many experts and get different uh, opinions, points of view. Um, and we, I think we all learn from posting or from reading uh, these, uh, these conversations. And we have our Knowledge Center. It, that's been a, a greatly successful resource uh, for, uh, again, the, uh, disseminating the education uh, on CML. Uh, we also have uh, a, a, a very uh, targeted focus on low- and middle-income countries where disseminating information becomes particularly uh, relevant. We have our, our uh, 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 CML discussion, the regional discussion forums, uh, which are very valuable, where we have experts, local experts, that, 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 that uh, present uh, uh, with uh, the assistance of some uh, global experts as well, um, and they've been incredibly successful. We are starting to do also some country-specific webinars. We're gonna be doing, for example, one with Pakistan, and, and, and these are very good. Um, and we've done others with Brazil and the Philippines, uh, and so on. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned already the Knowledge Center, um, and then our um, 
uh, you know, main uh, event where one of the biggest things that, that started with the ICML Foundation was the, C the preceptorships. It is something that with COVID uh, we had to stop and we are really very actively pursuing the way to bring it back because it has been so successful and actually some of you here uh, were part of those preceptorships and, and we really want to bring them uh, back. So just to give you a, a, a little bit of numbers, uh, just in the, in the last year, um, there were um, uh, physicians from 150 countries who joined uh, the, in the programs, and uh, two-thirds of them were from low- and middle-income countries. Uh, there were more than 15,000 program participants. There were um, more than 1,100 in-person attendees to any of these events that I mentioned. Uh, more than 500 hours of educational activities watched. Um, and uh, more than a 40% growth in subscribers. So uh, really is something that is growing very rapidly and the feedback that we get of the value that, uh, that, that uh, those who, who are uh, participating in these activities get is incredible. Uh, we also, as I mentioned, are working on very important projects for research. Um, I think they, they, you know, if, if you start with the Genomics Alliance with Harmony Plus, um, this is uh, pro the, one of the first ones, realizing that to answer some of these important questions that are uh, evolving from the understanding of the genetic diversity of CML, uh, we need big databases and joint efforts together. And, uh, and this has been an incredibly uh, effective strategy. Um, so that led then to the development of another alliance, which is a treatment-free remission. Again, same principle, try to collect data from all over the world so that we can better address the questions that we still have in, in how to do this better. Um, and, um, and the most uh, recent uh, research initiative, uh, also very critical, is the pediatric CML. Every single institution will see only a handful of patients with uh, pediatric patients with CML, but it is a problem. There are these children that are being diagnosed with CML, and the way we can advance the knowledge is by pulling together all the data uh, that is available, and that's the, the goal of this uh, initiative. So um, very importantly, the way we do this is because of you, uh, all of you, whether you are um, part of, the, of, of generating the data, whether you are a, 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 a patient representative, whether you are participating in these educational activities, where you, whether you are one of our corporate sponsors, uh, this is how we do all of these activities. So please remain engaged, remain very active. If you haven't joined the International CML Foundation in some way, please do it. Uh, we really depend on you. So uh, this is a list that is very likely uh, partial uh, of many of the people who have contributed very actively uh, in the, all of these activities, and this continues to grow uh, every day, as, as we mentioned. And then, very importantly, we did our climb. We went to the Annapurna uh, base camp last year. You can see the fantastic group of people who, who uh, went there. We had a, a great time. But very importantly, we fundraised uh, to support some of these initiatives that we have with the International CML Foundation. And we are planning to do it again. So, um, well, well uh, last year we raised over $500,000. Uh, and next year, we are going to do it again. So uh, if you want to get some information, we are putting the final program together where and how we're gonna do it, um, but there's only a limited number of people who can join. So if you're gonna be interested, please uh, uh, advance register uh, so that we can uh, do it again next year. It's important to, for the fundraising, but you'll have an outstanding time. I mean, I can, I, you know, I can tell you that of all my trips that I've done, that's the most memorable uh, in my whole life. So it, it was just incredible uh, to, be, uh, to be there. Um, now, <clears throat> as I mentioned, in the meantime, you can start getting in shape by joining us on Sunday at 7 a.m. In, uh, in, the, in the fun run. Uh, we, we're going to have a, another great uh, event. So please sign up. This one is not limited. I hope to see all of you at 7 a.m. They're uh, running with us again. Some will run, some will walk. The point is that we all should be there together and help fundraise for the International CML 
Foundation. So I want to conclude with a, with a thank you to all of you, uh, with our thanks to our corporate partners, very, very important contribution by all of them. We want to continue keeping this alliance uh, together. Again, this is the only organization that focuses on CML uh, in, in all aspects of CML, and, and we want to keep it alive. It's very important if we're gonna answer the questions that remain uh, pending. And then um, I also want to highlight the outstanding work of our staff. It's a very you know, small organization. It's just very efficient. Uh, very importantly, Nicola, who's, who's here, uh, you know, when you see her here, and, and, and um, uh, please uh, give her a, a big thanks for all the work that she does. She does an outstanding job doing, putting all of these together with the great staff that you see here in the slides. Stephanie's also here. Uh, so, so really, uh, we, we are very, very fortunate to have that, the team that we have that is so efficient in keeping this organization uh, moving. And then we have uh, our board of directors. We had our meeting yesterday. Uh, we have our scientific advisors. Many of them are also here. So thank you to all of you who are part of the International CML Foundation uh, for the work you do. And uh, I really invite you all uh, to become members of the international active participants uh, of the International CML Foundation.